Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Ernest again, your teacher of the gifted. So a few of you have emailed me back, sort of confused because you didn't think you were a part of the gifted program anymore. So let me tell you how gifted works once you get into the middle school and high school level. So when you were in elementary school, you probably had a gifted class that you went to for a period, maybe a few times a week or every single day. So that is the call, called either a differentiated curriculum or a push in or pull out program. So those programs for gifted are very common at the elementary level, but when you get to middle school and high school, you move into a program called consultation. So what consultation means is there's someone who is still your teacher of the gifted. You are still gifted for the entire career that you have from kindergarten, whenever you're identified, up until you're a senior in high school. So with this program, once you've been identified, there's someone who actually keeps an eye on you and keeps an eye on your gifted paperwork. So in the background, what we're doing is we're contacting your teachers, usually on a monthly basis. We're looking at your grades, making sure you're staying on top of everything. And if you're a student, for example, that has a lot of really tough classes, you're staying on top of your grades, you may not hear from us very often. But if maybe you're struggling, say for example, that you have your first AP class and you're really struggling with the content, that's where we come in. We can help you learn how to study. We can help you with making up assignments, uh, learning how to write an email so you can ask questions for your teacher. Same thing, what I do is I also reach out to your teachers and if they need help differentiating or changing the way that they need to teach you because you're a gifted student, that's sort of what I do. So I want you to think of me as your first line of defense. If you're having an issue, I wanna be that person that you can go to before things maybe get out of hand. So again, please make sure you're keeping in mind you are still gifted, you are still in the gifted program. It just looks a little different than it did in elementary school. So I'm looking forward to seeing you all either virtually or in person and I'll see you soon.